very rare. They made 554 of these, um, and that's of all colors and, and uh, iterations. This is uh, quite rare in, a, in that it has uh, air conditioning, so it's you know not not very common back then for a for a, a convertible to also have air conditioning. Uh, quite rare. Um, the actually, I have to say that 62 Crown Imperials uh, have been on my uh, my list of cars to uh, to enjoy uh, for a long, long time. I mean, I think they are incredibly stylized. I mean, look at you know the way the headlights are, but also look at the squarish. Um, steering wheel which is kind of uh, like the Jetsons right for uh, uh, avionics and then look at these stylized um, where you know components where you have the ventilation system on one side and the uh, transmission on the other uh, very very stylized of course this has leather because it's an imperial imperials um, are really the best cars made in America. Uh, I'm a big Cadillac fan. I, I know some of you are, are going to cringe when I say that, but I have to say from an engineering standpoint, the Imperials uh, were really quite over the top, uh, and I think they took more risks. Um, so uh, it's they're you know they're pretty uh, pretty terrific. Um, this has the 413 cubic inch wedge uh, engine, which uh, was, you know, very, very, you know, um, renowned. It has 340 horsepower, and the transmission is the three-speed torque flight transmission. Um, it, it, this uh, comes in with a 129-inch wheelbase. And the total length is about 227 inches. I'm sure people are going to wonder if it fits in their garage. So I'll give it a little bit of uh, gas here. Oh yeah, that's got nice pull. Wow, for as much as this thing weighs, it, uh, it looks just fine. 